X2 Mirko asked us on the IntelliGel forum to demonstrate how to use the Rainmaker for modal synthesis. So the trick to that is that first you need to set all of your filters to bandpass. Uh, we need to turn up all of our taps. We need to set a high Q or resonance for all of those taps. And we need to excite them with either the shaped pulse or the ping input and we need to set our delay time to be very short so like around two milliseconds usually does the trick and then the other thing we need to do is set those filter cutoffs so the filter cutoffs are going to kind of determine the timbre of that uh, of that tone so we can kind of randomize those filter cuts to Uh, we can use that to audition different um, different timbres, and then once we find something we like, then we can go with that. And so we can also uh, use the trigger input to to trigger that. And what we do then is use mod A. control all those filter cutoffs and we can kind of use that to control the pitch of those notes and so then with up mod a controlling the filter cutoffs we can also take advantage of the CV input and run a pitch input into there and so now we can control the range between the mod a input and the mod a knob here want to, we can bring the comb section in and use that to get a bit more complexity. And so if you don't feel like Programming that in from scratch, preset 66 modal ring has this already set up, so you can uh, you can just load that up and uh, oh, I've still got mod A being controlled, so so it's going to change that pitch. Um, and then ping arp has kind of a similar thing, but the taps are more spaced out in time, so you get a cool. Uh, kind of arpeggio with those bandpass filters. Yeah, thanks for watching.